Welcome back to Let's Play El Shaddai, Ascension of the Metatron. Interesting note about the Nephilim. In the original Book of Enoch, the Nephilim overtaking, well, that's kind of big, the Nephilim taking over the world, so to say, as well as the Watchers having fallen, was actually the reason for the Flood. The Great Flood that Noah then took us out of. In fact, Enoch is an ancestor of Noah. Now, this game and how it differs from that is, in this game, the Great Flood has already happened. You saw that in the intro, they said that um, God was essentially threatening us with another great flood to get rid of these. Which again, to solve this problem, as the Book of Enoch mentioned, there would have been another flood. Our job is to beat people up so that flood doesn't happen. But then what the crap the first flood was about in this game is beyond me, because it's certainly, it's gonna have to be different from the original Book of Enoch. We got a heart and we're full on health. So we're running in to follow Nana and the Nephilim. どうしたいのく。ズブヌレじゃないか。なあ、これ。これは傘だよ。Suddenly, boss. But I'm going to first start by saying a couple very important things happened there. First of all, Lucifer mentioned that the umbrella was one of humanity's shards of wisdom that he took from the future, really, along with his cell phone and his pants. And our pants, I guess. So yeah, there's an interesting thing there. Those are not God's wisdom. Those are shards of humanity's wisdom. Go us. On second note, it was friggin' fantastic that Lucifer was standing there with an umbrella, and he says, it's called an umbrella. That line alone is another thing that's kind of become meme-tastic from this game. Just him going, this is an umbrella. Not exactly what he said, but whatever. Also, it was pretty fantastic that, like, these boar things charged by and, like, blew everything around. And Lucifer, it just, the wind caught his umbrella, and he just kind of went, Whoa! <laughs> That's fantastic. But boss! Ezekiel left, but she's left us with her giant pigs. These pigs are kind of a thing, by the way, and, well, they said she did have a fondness for pigs, so here we go. Weapon Wisps. These are exactly like the f Fire Flame Painful Wisps from before, but you can actually take a weapon from them. They will cause trouble and cause damage, so I kind of suggest getting rid of them anyway. Oh dear, oh dear. However, I suggest keeping the veil anyway. For something like this, especially since you have to dodge out of the way of their charge,
You'd think something faster, especially like the Gale, would be the most helpful. But that is not the case. The Gale is helpful, but the f it also does so little damage. Oh dear. Oh! You have to stun them, though, before you can do any real damage. And then just kind of pray you don't get hit by everything. If you can get them to ram into each other, all the better, really. Where's the other one? There you are. Wait for the symbol... guard and get the crap out of there. May want to purify the weapon because it was getting a little dark. Oh, you're going to do your spinny thing again, aren't you? No, you're just going to do your regular charge. Okay. If you try to d dodge out of the way any sooner... Nope, 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 nope. If you try to dodge out of the way any sooner, they will veer to try to hit you and generally miss their target. You have to wait until the last second in order to dodge out of the way, and this is not going to end well for anyone. They're armored, though. Just like any other enemy, the more damage you do, you can see that you do no indeed knock off bits and pieces of their armor. You guys gonna charge? Nope! Ah! Guard that if you can. If they hit you like twice with one guard, it will break your guard and generally hurt like a son of a gun. Also, I'm kind of low on armor. Hit me, you piece of crap. Okay, and then I just kind of got hit a little. We're down to one pig, though! I've got, like, no armor left! Yeah, I actually do. Legit have no armor left. Okay, with just one left, this fight is a lot easier since you can just keep your eye on him and not have to worry about anything. God dang it! Stupid wisp! If you die, by the way, you do get a chance to restart. Lucifer himself said you get more than one chance. する子供たちを倒されてエゼキエルのやつ怒ってるだろうな。まあ気にするな。お前はお前の仕事をすればいい。次はサリエルの支配する世界だ。イーノックはエゼキエルの支配する世界で彼女が長愛する巨大な豚
That's the first time I've gone down there, though, so it wasn't a big deal, and I think if you actually do game over, it resets it, or maybe it's all in one fight. I don't know. All I know is that you do essentially get a bunch of retries. So feel free to use them. This is a, this is a room. Even in one fight, as a retry, you can get up right where you stand. You don't even have to start the whole fight over. Well, nothing in here. Serial is a lover of many women, and in turn, his floor is filled with his children. It is filled with Nephilim. And it's really only in this floor do we get to see how adorable and how disturbing the Nephilim really are. I'd very much like to not have a veil, because there is a crap ton of platforming in here. Those are big Nephilim. They say Nephilim get larger by devouring each other. Out of their complete and utter despair and sadness, they eat and they eat each other. And that is how they grow. Come in, platforming. Platforming with the arch is so much easier than anything else. Serial's Beloved, yet another tier of essentially the same ghost that we saw on the previous floor. They'll come at you and try to take over your body and stuff. He's pushing a big old ball. Ooh, heart. I'm pretty sure I don't need it, but I'll take it. Why not? And now it's raining. And they got these big old leaves on them. Got a big old leaf on his head. And that one's got a big old thing of wood on his head. Come on over. You know you wanna. Crap. Come on, lady. Dang it. Lady! There we go. I don't know if they even do any damage to you, aside from just taking control away for a moment, which can cause you to fall into a pit. So there's that. No, no, no. They're mostly around here to be annoying. But if you manage to kill one, you do get a heart out of it. Man, come here. Not jumping over a pit with you right there. Ah. No, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. You two! Away with ye. Oui. No, I missed. No, I missed again. Oui. 
Oh man, he's got a big old hula hoop. You can actually jump on top of that and ride it around. And you even have to here. You know what? Up yours, lady. Well, sure do. I'm getting the crap away from you first. Nope, not close enough. Not gonna risk it. The arch lets me hit you and even stuns you with each hit. The gale, you'll want to do the uh, jump thing. I wow, I'm actually surprised I got that hit. Then I'm just brought back here. Well, man, I don't want to fight you guys with an arch. You guys are annoying as crap. I'm just gonna do this because fudge you. And give me that. Give me that weapon. Take your weapon! Take your weapon and use it again on ya! And your weapon! Oh, I did so You dodged! How dare you! No! Oh, did I not get his... Well, I was gonna take his weapon, and then it didn't work out for me. One of these days, I'll learn how to, like, legit play this game, and then this will be so much easier. But until then, I guess I'll just kind of stand around and punch dudes. Yeah. I came down here last time. I just steal everybody's weapon. Lucifer's kind of hanging around up here. That will progress us forward, but we should be able to come up here to break this pot. And I don't think that was actually health, but you know what? Okay, I was going to say, Enoch, can you not, like, look a little derpy there for a second? We've left Ezekiel's realm, and we've just entered Serial's realm. We've still not seen the last of Ezekiel. In fact, we've not really even seen much of the first of her. I mean, I guess she wandered around a little. But until next time, everyone, when we continue our adventure up the second tier of the tower. <laughs>